Ready for another story with Mrs. Christie? Today's story is The Day Jimmy's Boa Ate the Wash by Trinka Hakes Noble. Get yourself comfy, I'll grab my glasses, and we'll get started. How was your class trip to the farm? asked Mom. Oh, boring, kinda dull, until the cow started crying. A cow crying? Yeah, you see, a haystack fell on her. A haystack doesn't just fall over, said Mom. Well, it does if a farmer crashes into it with his tractor. Oh, come on, a farmer wouldn't do that. He would if he were too busy yelling at his pigs to get off our school bus. What were the pigs doing on the bus? They were eating our lunches. And why were they eating your lunches, said Mom. Well, because we threw their corn at each other and then they didn't have anything to eat. Well, that makes sense, but why were you throwing corn? Because we ran out of eggs. Out of eggs? Why were you throwing eggs? Because of the boa constrictor. The boa constrictor? Yeah, Jimmy's pet boa constrictor. What was Jimmy's pet boa constrictor doing on the farm? Oh, he brought it along to meet all the farm animals, but the chickens didn't like it. You mean he took it into the hen house? Yeah, and the chickens started squawking and flying around. Go on, go on, what happened next? Well, one hen got really excited and laid an egg and it landed on Jenny's head. The hen? No, the egg. And it broke, yucky, all over in her hair. Well, what did she do? She got mad because she thought Tommy threw it, so she threw one at him. And what did Tommy do? Oh, he ducked and the egg hit Marianne right in the face. So she threw one at Jenny, but she missed and hit Jimmy, who dropped his boa constrictor. Oh, I know. And the next thing you knew, everyone was throwing eggs, right, said Mom? Right. And let me guess, when you ran out of eggs, you threw the pig's corn, huh? Right again. Well, what finally stopped it? Well, we heard the farmer's wife screaming. But why was she screaming? Well, we never really found out because Mrs. Stanley made us all get on the bus and we sort of left in a hurry without the boa constrictor. Look carefully at the picture. Why do you think she was screaming? Well, I bet Jimmy was sad because he left his pet boa constrictor. Oh, not really. We left in such a hurry that one of the pigs didn't get off the bus. So now, he's got a pet pig. Boy, that sure sounds like an exciting trip. Yeah, I suppose, if you're the kind of kid who likes class trips to the farm. And that's the end of that story. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again tomorrow.